Hello, it's Meg from Marguerite here. I wanted to show you these cards that um, we're making at class um, for the next couple of weeks, but I thought if you wanted to do them at home, it might be helpful to have a video as well. It's a really simple technique using watercolour paper and then embossing with the, go um, the copper, sorry, um, embossing powder, which is right on trend at the moment. Now this one here I've made using Blushing Bride and this is, um, Hmm, mint macaron and now I thought and also I've got two different flowers um, and now I thought um, I'd try uh, watermelon wonder um, as a colour. So the first thing you need is a piece of watercolour paper. These come in um, strange size packs and this is about half a piece and you need the aqua painter. Again these come in packs of two and here I've got the watermelon wonder and if you just press on it um, you'll get a little well of ink that you can use to colour. So you want to um, just pick some of the ink up. I'm just going to have a little practice on the side. Yeah. And you're literally going to paint a panel. Now I just use the side of the brush. So every one of these will be slightly different because you're going to make a different size panel and, uh, and do it differently really. Now if you don't like your panel, like I'm not sure I like this particularly, you can flip it over and use the other side. I'm just wondering if I can get that to uh, blend in at all. Maybe just get a bit more colour down here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that aside to dry. Sorry, I have to shut my pads, it's some strange habit. And you also want to have a flower, so we're going to emboss the flower in the gold. I keep saying gold when I mean copper. And uh, so use Versamark, so it's a clear ink pad, it's really just sort of stickiness, so that you can. Uh, and this is just an off cut of um, my watercolour paper. You could use other paper, it's just that's what I've got to hand. And here's my copper embossing powder, I've taken it out of the main pot it came in. I can just sprinkle some on. Oops, not enough. And you can see it's there ready. Now I'm going to put the um, heat gun on now so it will uh, be quite noisy. Unless I. Okay, so now what we need to do, now when you emboss, just always have a good look um, that you've actually melted all of it. Because if you run your finger over like that and you haven't, you have a disaster like I have over here. So as you can see here, I hadn't quite done the Y and then I brushed it away and then that's a waste of effort really. Um, okay, so next thing you want to do is stamp the thank you so much in the verse mark again. An embossing powder. Oh, missed a bit. I don't think M's looking a bit short. I need to put a bit more embossing powder in here. All right, there's everywhere covered. Yeah, okay, so I'll just melt that. You don't want to waft the uh, heat gun around. It. <laughs> okay. And so we also have a flower which uh, needs punching out with a matching punch. It's going to jump out. Right, so the next thing to do is to stick this sorry, a bit of stray embossing powder onto the front of your card base. I've used the um, thick 
Whisper White. It's just a bit nicer than the standard Whisper White. Holds the shape a bit better. So I'm just checking that this is going to line up properly before I put any glue on. Good. Okay, so I should have a tear and tape. I'm going to put it down the side. dodgy bit there. Okay. I just need to make sure I've got this lined up so I don't have to do any extra trimming afterwards to make it work. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then uh, we've got the flower, which um, I think a glue dot's the best thing to use. There we go. We could put it over here. No, I still think I like it over here. And a pearl to just finish it off. Oops, missed. And there we go. I think that's a great um, card. And I, I think the embossing just is, I hope that's catching nicely in the light, but it's really lovely the way it's raised. So there's some different colours here for you to see. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.